So in this challenge, we're going to try to collect the coins. So let's take a look at uh, how I set up my movement. First off, I I just have this classic, uh, you know, four four ifs that are all just checking to see um, what button I press, and then I'm changing the x uh, or the y. Um, one thing uh, that we can do is see how he is. always looks like he's pointing to the right. Um, I can have him if I press left, I can have him go point in the left direction. Um, if I press right, point in the right direction. So if you did want to have your um, character do something like this, now you'll notice he flipped upside down backwards. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but I just clicked on this little eye here. See this rotational style? This means that he's a 360 character. So if he was to, to rotate 180 degrees, that's what that point in the opposite direction would be. Uh, his feet would actually be up to the top. Um, I can make him a left-right character. And, okay, now he behaves like I, I, I think he should behave. Okay, cool. So let's go back to the, to the script here. Uh, the first thing is I want to make um, a sprite that I can collect. I mean, so I'm just going to do a, a, a little awful drawing here. Um, I don't want it to be that color. So I'm going to undo. Um, let's make him uh, make it a little yellow gold color. Boom. And I'm going to fill it in like that. Boom. And I'm just going to do a little free style drawing. Okay. Nice. 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 Um, so you guys are, are, are way more artistic than, uh, than me. Um, but, you know, we could do different things like this where I say, okay, I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to just take this little thing right here. And I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. And I'm going to duplicate it and shrink it down even more a little bit. And I'm going to duplicate it and shrink it down a little bit. So I'm just making a, um, a, a pretty bad um, uh, little animation here that it's going to look like the coin's kind of rotating. Um, so if I wanted the coin to rotate, I'd want it to be full size, smaller, 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 and then I would want it to come back to, um, I'd want it to come back to this size, come back to that size, and then finally to the biggest size. So now all of those, um, those, uh, are up there. Oh, sorry, it's resized, uh, the screen. So I see out of those seven. Now, whenever you're doing stuff like that, there's this little button right here where it's like the you know the centering button so if I click this okay it's square right in the middle but you see here um, it's not square in the middle so if I, I need to square back up so this one's square this one is not square this one's square that one's not square so I'm just gonna square all these um, so that the animation will at least stand a chance to look halfway decent. Um, okay, so basically what I want for this sprite then is uh, when this thing's clicked, uh, is just to kind of forever do the next costume and um, just to wait just a little bit of time in between there. Let's see how that looks. Whoa, okay. So I have my coin um, up here. Let me just pause it, something like that. It's a little bit too big, so I'm, I'm going to use this little shrink tool to bring it down to size. Now that makes the money sign look awful, but um, we'll cross one bridge when we get to it. Okay, so the main point of this is I want to go collect that coin. Uh, so if I want to collect that coin, I want my character, my sprite, um, when I click this, to go all the way up there and collect it. Now you'll notice that I didn't make... 15 coins right away, and I could do that. Um, I could just start duplicating, start duplicating like this, like crazy, um, and, and it would work out, right? Um, it's just gonna be a lot more effort. Try to break the task into smaller bits, so I'm just gonna make the game work with one coin and then move on from there. So, what I wanna do is, first I need to decide whose perspective should I code this from? Should I have the cat always sensing to see if it is touching a coin, or should I have the coin be always sensing to see if it's touching the cat. If you think about that for a couple of seconds, it's probably better to have the coin um, be sensing for it. Um, 
so let's let's check this out. This one is just going to control a costume, so I'm going to create a, a, a brand new one. Um, and I'm going to say if if I'm touching the cat sprite one, right? What do I want to have happen? Well, in here, there's a little hide button. <sighs> please work, please work. Ooh, so I collected the coin. Nice. Now you notice if I restart the game, the coin doesn't show up. Kind of my rule of thumb is every time you put a hide button in there, you should put a show button in there. Um, and I'll leave it to you to figure out where uh, the the show button should go in this um, in this game. So what I want to do is I want to uh, to collect collect the coin, but I want something else to happen. I want to keep track of um, a score, right? I'll keep track of the score. So that's going to go in here in this data. Now this variable idea. It's not only important in the scratch stuff we do, but in the rest of your computer programming uh, life, making a variable is one of the most important things we do. Um, we could make our variable like um, named anything we wanted to, right? But maybe not, it makes sense. In this case, we want to put like points, um, or we could do cash. Now I can have it be cash only for this sprite, like uh, so sprite two would be keeping track of its own cash. Um, but I want it to be available for all sprites because every single coin that I'm going to make is going to add to this tally. So I want to do this where as soon as it's touched, I want ch touched, I want to change the cash by one. Oh, so I got a point. See that? Now the problem is if I do it like this and I restart the game, my cache doesn't re uh, reset, right? So this setting cache to, to zero is going to be something that's going to be important um, somewhere in there. Now once I have it working correctly with uh, two of them, and you're going to want to do some uh, some more work in there to make sure it's working, that's the point that you then want to duplicate all these things. Um, because, you know, instead of making a mistake and having to change it, to 15 different sprites. Just make sure it works perfectly with one and it'll minimize your work. Awesome, good luck with the rest of the game.